Hey guys, it's Ron here again and kind of want to go over a couple things. I've gotten messaged uh, on Facebook about the new Mavic 2 Pro. Um, my Zoom is on the way still, so pretty excited about it, but uh, people are asking me how it compares with the Evo and how they compare. You know, comparing the two drones, camera to camera, there's really not much of a comparison with the one-inch sensor versus the half-inch sensor, 12 megapixels and 20 megapixels. Um, you know, but I'm gonna tell you a couple of concerns that I have with the Mavic 2. With the, with the 2 Pro, uh, I think the picture is a little oversaturated. Um, I'm seeing a little curve uh, in the uh, pictures when I'm shooting raw. But uh, all in all, it's a solid drone. You know, my last video I said, hey, it's flawless. I haven't really noticed anything. Flight capabilities, it's amazing. The flight technology and um, the features that it has, uh, you know, with the hyperlapse, uh, with the uh, orbit modes and the new active track. I mean, it's it's great. Don't get me wrong. And this this is this video is not to say this one is better than this one or is it? That's the question. It really depends on what you're looking for. Okay, this is a really good base drone. It's a great drone, great camera. So if you're doing, you know, photography for landscaping, or if you're even doing real estate photography, this is a great drone for that. Now the flight modes compared to the, the DJI products lack. You're not going to get like the, you're not going to get hyperlapse and whatnot. The, all this, you know, all the stuff that this gets with Asteroid. Um, but you do get a lot of other benefits that this does not have. Let's go over a few of those. Okay. Number one, look at the controllers, right? One thing I actually do like is I do like this holder right here. I like my phone or tablet at the top. Now I know you're not going to get a tablet in this, but you can unscrew the back here and you can put a tablet holder on. Uh, they do make them really cool, but they also have the screen right there. So if your phone's low on battery or whatnot, you can fly through the screen. Now I know in previous videos and people have been talking since the Evo came out, oh yeah, that's what the, that's all you've been talking about. That's what's different. That's what's better. It's not better. It's different. It's a different option. Um, the one thing I do like better about this controller is the, the joysticks, they come off and you can screw them in just like the Mavic Air. I do like that feature. Um, I do like the build of this. It feels a little bit more solid than the previous generation of Mavic. But then again, this does not, this isn't a slouch either. It's still a pretty, pretty solid, a little heavier, but again, you have the screen in there, which makes it heavier. So controller to controller, you know, I think the Evo is still a step above on the controller. Uh, now, mind you, this is also a $1,500 drone versus a $1,000 drone or $1,449 or whatever the case is, but it doesn't matter. 500 bucks more. You can get a couple extra batteries with that bad boy with this. So it's really what you're looking for. Um, if you're looking at the actual build of the drone, this is a super solid drone. But then again, so is that. They're both solid in that case. This, the Mavic 2, is way quieter than the Evo. Battery life, hands down, goes to the new Mavic. You know, I'm only getting, luckily, getting 25 minutes at best with the Evo um, versus I actually have gotten over 30 minutes with this. I went 4.32 miles with the Mavic, where this, the Evo, made it four miles, exactly. And by I turned it around and brought it back, it barely had enough battery remaining, where the Mavic 2, um, when I took it 4.32 miles and it landed, I still had about 20% battery remaining. So <clears throat> if you're comparing for what you're looking for, if you're looking for a good drone that flies good, that takes great pictures, you're going to want to go with the Evo. If you want something that's good, but if you want flight modes such as orbit, boomerang, um, hyperlapsing and whatnot, you're going to want to go with the new Mavic. Now the Mavic 2 Pro versus the Zoom is a different animal which we're going to get into that later once I get my Mavic 2 Zoom. But all in all, they're both good drones. Also, something I want to tell you. Last weekend, I went out flying in the mountains. Um, there's a waterfall here in Washington State. I drove out. It's deep in the mountains. It's, it's down a mountain pass. And I took, my, I took both these birds with me. I was hoping to get this one up in the air and fly it, which I did. But it would only fly in Addy mode. It would not get satellites. Um, so I took it up and again, I was in a mountain area, a lot of trees and I was, it was really sketchy because it was breezy. So it wouldn't take a solid picture. So I had to land it, put that away, fired up the Evo, just figured what the heck, maybe I might get satellites, locked in the satellites, had no issue, was super solid. Does that make the Evo better? No. Do I find it to be a fluke? Could be, uh, but it wouldn't gain satellites. I brought the Mavic 2 home, fired it up, 
connected to satellites, no issues. Um, you know, again, every drone's gonna have its little hiccups. Um, is the Mavic 2 a great drone? Absolutely. Is the Evo a great drone? Absolutely. So people who argue about DJI versus Autel sparks up a great memory for me of PlayStation versus Xbox, or Mac versus PC, or iPhone versus Samsung. Again, every one of them has their own special, unique qualities that really make that consumer like that specific brand. The Evo has great qualities, great customer service, no flight restrictions, um, and a great drone with a great camera. DJI, on the other hand, has a great drone, phenomenal flight capabilities, great technology in the drone, and good cameras on their drones. There's no knock in either product. They're both great in their own separate ways. If you guys want to purchase any of them, there's a great place to buy them. Click the link below down to DroneWorks. They'll get one shipped out to you right away. If you guys have any questions about these drones or have any questions about drones in general or photography or what have you, talk to the people at DroneWorks or myself, and we'll go ahead and get back to you and try to help you out as much as we can. Guys, thanks for watching. Happy flying and be safe. Take it easy.